Happy Wednesday, world. You ever want to be in two places at one time? You know, like maybe you got two kids. One's got a game here, one's got a game there, and you want to be at both, but you can't. You know, maybe there's a big concert event and a family function going on, at, and, and you want to be at both, but you can't. We can't be in two places at one time. Or can we? Or are we? And, and maybe we don't realize it. And, we'll, and what I mean, world, is if you think about it, we live in a material world but we also live in a spiritual world. So in reality, we really do live in two places at one time. And for me, what I've come to realize is that if I utilize the material world as my compass, I will become lost in the flood of life. So if I'm trying to gauge where I'm going, what I'm doing, how I'm acting by the things that are going on in the material world and not focusing my efforts and energy on what's going on in the spiritual world, I will become lost and confused and bewildered and discouraged. And there's a lot of that going on right now in society with all of the things and all of the noise and all of the chaos and all of the things that we don't understand and the mistrust, distrust, misinformation, disinformation. You don't know what's up or down, left or right. It's confusing. It's overwhelming. And if we're looking to the world for answers and guidance, we will get lost and we will be spiritually dry, be like in a desert, you know. So it's important for me to take time to focus on the spiritual part of my existence, which then gives me the ability to deal with the material world in a way that's probably more calm and reasonable. And what I've learned over the years is the one of the biggest things that I can do to try to maintain my connection to the spiritual world, besides being quiet and spending time with God, of course, is to be kind. Be kind. If I can be kind, I have a better chance of living in the spiritual realm. But when I get all disjointed by things that are going on in the world and I get envious or I get jealous or I get bitter or I get angry, the material world is going to dictate where I go, what I do. We've all been given gifts and we're uniquely qualified to do certain things. So we've got to spend time to figure out what those gifts are in the spiritual realm. Use those gifts to be kind to others and do the little things for one another. Encourage one another so that we can build some momentum and get other people to be doing those kind of things to each other so that together we can encourage one another, lift one another up and try to remember that we do live in two places at one time. We are in the spiritual world and we are in the material world. And if we're not careful, the material world will take us and control us and bewilder us. So it's important that we get connected and get grounded and get centered with God and ask him to give us guidance, get around godly people and try to ask God to give you wisdom and discernment. And remember, we do live in two places at one time and we do exist in two places at one time. And God, you know, told us in the Lord's Prayer that we want His kingdom to come here on earth. So that's part of our goal is to help us, to help God bring His kingdom here on earth. And I think the best way we can do that is to be kind to one another. So guys, remember when you get up, take some time. Don't listen to the noise of the world. Listen to God. Get quiet. Get still. Get out in nature. Get yourself centered. Get yourself grounded. And remember, guys, to uh, be at peace with God, be at peace with yourselves and peace with other people. God, thank you for loving us so much. Fill all my brothers and sisters with peace, love, and compassion today. God, fill me with peace, love, and compassion and fill all the earth and all humanity with peace, love, and compassion. God bless America. Peace officers out.